right, hello, hello, everybody. Let's see if anyone comes in and says hello. I am late today. I've been running around all morning long, I'm just trying to um, unload my car, do all the stuff from the, um, let's say from the challenge, not from the challenge, from my uh, natural hair expo that I did uh, this past weekend. Let me clean my screen real quick. <laughs> Okay, there we go. A little bit better. Hey, Tiffany. She says, hey, how are you? Uh, hi, Diane. She says, hi, Michelle. Tiffany says, I'm just, I'm just glad I got the notification. Oh, yay. <laughs> hey, dear. Hey, hey. I was a little bit late today. I, listen, I had a lot of running around to do this morning and I was, I sat down. You know, when you sit down and you're just like, oh, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Uh, hey, Sissy Fly. She says, hey, Michelle from New York. Hey, boo. Hey, Elle. Tiffany says, you look amazing. Skin looks good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I have nothing on my skin. This is my <laughs> natural face. Thank you. Uh, Diane says, did you do good at the expo? Yeah, I did really good at the expo. It was a lot of, uh, I'll say it was a lot of work um, to get prepared for, but the expo was a lot of fun. Um, got to meet a lot of new people, a new people who've never heard me. I also met some other natural hair brands. Um, so the expo did really good. I mean, I did really good at the expo. Um, I really wish I was able to see. So like, um, at this expo, they had like, like shows going on, like people doing like a braiding competition. And I, I heard some of the speakers were like really, really good. I kind of wish I was able to, to go hear some of that, but you know, doing a mix of both and, and promoting my business, you know, obviously most important. <laughs> um, hi to whom I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, Hello. Hi, Catherine. She says, hi. Hey, Jessica. How are you, boo? I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> hi, Anissa. She says, hi, Michelle. Hope you're doing great. I'm doing good. I am. Um, hey, Nika. She says, hey, now. Expo Sixa. Yeah, it was really, really good, y'all. Um, I met a lot of new women who I guess who've never, I can't say I guess, who've never heard of me before. And that's really what I want to do. I want to try to reach some of the local um, audience who've never heard of my brands and um, a lot of people were really, really interested. I had out some samples um, this time. I think that helped out um, a lot. A lot of people were, you know, using the product right there, trying to see how their hair felt. People would put it in their hair and they're like, I'm going to come back by the time I finish the expo. My hair feels amazing. Um, and they did. Like a lot of people came right on back. I would say the hibiscus styler was very, very successful. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> of course, we were like, bring more samples. I'm like, okay, calm down. <laughs> I will, maybe. <laughs> Uh, Tiffany says samples are a good idea. Yeah. Especially when people haven't, you know, heard of your brand before. Um, so yeah, it was, it was good. Also met, I made friends. I was actually next to a booth of a woman from who does, I think her name was, um, I forgot her name. I just that fast, but she, her brand is wonder curl. Um, but me and her are actually like really connected. She's been out for a long time. I've heard of her before. Um, very nice woman. She gave me like some tips and stuff. Uh, but but it was, it was good. It was good. So how is everyone else doing? I know I titled the challenge, this, the uh, uh, tea challenge results. Uh, I know last week I missed last week because I, you know, had a little bit of car issues last week. Um, <laughs> oh, Jessica says I'm hooked on your moisturizing styler. Oh, good, good. A lot of people love it. It's my favorite styler, favorite thing at all time right now. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I get so many good results and so do a lot of people. So yeah. Um, Perpetua says I didn't, but I'm going to start now. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so I posted, sorry, I'm like jumping around in my head, but so I posted my tea challenge results two weeks ago. You guys would have finished last week. Of course I had the whole car issue last week. So I, I missed it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the challenge. And if you didn't uh, do the challenge, I hope you do, uh, take advantage of the challenge. I'm actually going to pick if you're in my Facebook group, I'm going to pick two giveaway winners. Um, if you participated in the challenge, um, I'm definitely going to like comment under your post and let you know that you won. Um, I don't know what I'm going to give away. I think I'm going to just let them pick whatever products they want, maybe like up to like three products. Um, if they participated in the challenge and on Facebook, I mean, and on Facebook and on um, YouTube. So I'm actually going to create a video for Tip Tuesday. So watch that video on Tip Tuesday um, and let me know if you guys have participated. So there will be two ways to, to um, win. And I'm going to pick two winners, one on Facebook and one on YouTube. 
and um, that you guys choose up to three products for um, participating in my tea challenge. Let's see here. Uh, Perpetua says you're an inspiration. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I can be one. <laughs> Uh, Laurel says, hey, everyone. Hope you're having a great day so far. I am. Is it is it pouring rain where you guys are? I know, like, the whole uh, hurricane storm that passed through all of Florida. And, you know, I'm hoping everyone is, like, okay and safe in Florida. And uh, up the whole East Coast now, I feel like we're just getting a lot of rain and rain and rain and rain and rain. Yeah, everyone says, yeah, raining cats and dogs. Same, same. So I think like for me, I was like really nervous about traveling yesterday to New Jersey. Um, just driving safely. I hate driving in the rain. <laughs> I hate driving in the rain. And um, it was far enough away to like go and come back. And But I did. I did it. I did it proud of myself, you know. Um, and today just was the, the struggle bus because I left my car like fully. You know, I, like I rented a car is what I did. Um, I rented an SUV. And so this morning I had to like unload it and take the SUV back. Um, by, by 12, it didn't happen, but, um, <laughs> I did take the car back recently. That's why I was running a little bit late this morning. And like I said, I just finally sat down and my, my living room is full of all my products and I'm trying to like get it all together. Um, let's see here. Uh, Tiffany says, yes, enjoyed the challenge. I missed two weeks due to family things. I also modified it since, since I have braids, but my scalp loved it. Perfect. I'm glad. And like, I always say the challenge is like really great for just like introducing new things into your regimen, seeing which products you really like or ingredients you really like, and then um, sticking to it. Yes, you should obviously experience some type of hair growth too, but um, really finding what works for you. Um, I hope you guys at one point tried at least one of the... Um, the moisturizing recipes. So like the slippery elm, marshmallow root or slippery elm and flaxseed gel. Um, I'm definitely going to bring that back. My hair really, really loved it. And, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm boring myself, huh? <laughs> um, so I hope you guys try one of those recipes. It's, I think it's a great mix with especially my moisturizing styler. So yeah. All right. Let me see here. Uh, yes, it's raining cat and dog rain. Yeah. <laughs> Nika says the gray skies makes me feel it's super late. Yeah. It's so, it's so dark here. I like, <laughs> you wake up and you're like, what time is it? And it's like, oh, 9 30. And it looks like it's midnight. <laughs> uh, Mindy says, how was the expo? Oh, I, I commented, but it, that's what was really good. It wasn't as packed as it usually is. And I equate that to some of the rain, but it was still heavily attended. And I met a lot of people. Um, I always really talk about, you know, like when you're selling your brand, I really try to make it about education because, you know, that's really what I want people to know most about and not just buy a product, but really like educate yourself on products. I also tell everyone to like follow my YouTube, learn about how to take care of your hair. One thing I feel like I did learn um, more and more as I do more and more expos is how so many Black women still don't know how to take care of their hair. Um, I feel like there's, I guess, cause you know, there's a lot of like, oh, I'm on YouTube and I'm on Instagram. And so I feel like there's this big, huge natural community and there is, but there's still a large population of black women who don't know, I would say even the basics of beginning to take care of their hair, much less grow out their hair. Um, so I really feel like education is just like so important. And some of the women, you know, they were just at my booth listening to me talk about hair care, how to care for their hair. And, um, you know, also telling them about my YouTube and really trying to, you know, get not just get them to follow me, but help them to see that I teach, a, you know, like you'll get a whole package if you get my products, right? You'll learn about how to take care of your hair, how I use my products, how you can use them. Um, not just like sell my product and get out of my booth, you know? Um, so a lot of people really like, I think, found that to be really helpful and just kind of like lingered around. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. Uh, Anissa says, we're getting a lot of rain here in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Elle says, watching your videos definitely helped me to get into routine and now I'm finally seeing results. Yes, thank you. I'm so glad you are. And I think that's like one of the most important things. Like if you don't know, and it's fair to say you don't know, right? Because most of us didn't grow up with our families teaching us how to take care of our hair um, outside of maybe throwing a relaxer in or maybe going to a stylist to take care of it. There was really, 
not much that we learned and not much that our our mothers knew. So um, I'm glad I can definitely help out with that. All right, it says Barbados is okay for the most part. Lots of rain during the week, though, and then it's hot as hell over the weekend. Oh, yeah. I wish it was hot. And right now, like, the temperature drops all the way down. It's probably, like, in its 50s right now, and it's pouring rain up the East Coast. I'll say it's pouring rain. <laughs> uh, let's see. Rissy says, hi, y'all. Hey, dear. Uh, Catherine says, yes, raining, but not me. <laughs> It's not raining, man. <laughs> Nigga says, Lord, you got me yawning too. Yeah, let me not start that. Don't go down that road. <laughs> but I'll be out of this live in 10 minutes. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Perpetua says, moisture for hair. Can you add a butter to it? Yeah, after you moisturize your hair, you can definitely seal it with the butter. Um, a lot of people do the LCO or LOC, uh, whatever process. So the leave-in, the moisturizer, and a butter, or the leave-in uh, moisturizer and an oil. So if you need something a little bit heavier for your hair, like let's say you have maybe high porosity hair, or let's say the weather is colder, like in the wintertime, I do start to introduce my butter back into my hair. Um, in the fall and the spring and um, summer, I usually just stick with oils because they're a little bit lighter. Um, but definitely, this definitely um, get into the butters. <laughs> so I do have a butter. Um, if you have one that works fine, that's good too. But I do have an Ayurvedic butter that's light. It's not greasy. Um, really good for your hair and also for all of your body. I definitely use that. Uh, let's see. Just as I did the flaxseed gel. I love it. Yeah. And I'm sure, listen, I'm sure your hair was popping, Jessica. <laughs> I'm sure your hair was a glowing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mm, Tiffany says, I also like drinking the echinacea tea. Yeah, me too. Me too. That's like one of my favorite teas to drink. I drink it like all the time now. I told you I ordered like all these boxes from Amazon. <laughs> I think they like come with like six boxes and I just order them and drink them whenever. Missy said, I'm on your site now looking at the DHE blocking oil. Yeah, that was actually a really big hit um, at the show. And also, you guys love the DHE blocking oil. I'm getting a ton of good reviews on that oil. Um, I, taught, I talked a lot about that at the expo. Uh, a lot of older women were there, a lot of older Black women who were having thinning. Uh, we talked about DHT and hormones. I talked a lot of them convince them to go to the doctor and uh, get their hormones checked out. Um, but a lot of them did leave with the DHT blocking oil. Um, they had heard about DHT. Some people were just like, oh my God, I've been looking for a product like this. So um, very, very popular. Nicole says, hey, Michelle and everyone. Hey, dear, how are you? Nika says, you're right. Uh, you're too right. There really is no concrete teaching for this um, to care for our hair. Yeah. It isn't. It isn't. And I feel like, and I'm talking about some of these women were older. A lot of the women at this expo, you had some young girls there. Like I would say the Philly crowd was definitely more uh, younger, but this crowd was definitely like maybe like 50s, 60s. There was a good population of women there that were 50s, 60s. And, and I tell you had no, couldn't even begin to um, know the basics. And I was definitely like, sit down, let's talk. <laughs> and had some really good conversations, like literally really good conversations. And, and some of them, and I think they know old age, like we're just using oil on their hair. Right. And they're like, Oh, I'm just going to oil my hair. And I really talked to them about moisture, how they need moisture. Cause they're like, how do I get my hair to your length? And like, Oh, you just don't know. Cause your hair hasn't been long. For, your hair has been long for too long. And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> your hair's not been long for too long. And I was like, I do cut my hair. Um, cause I want to show you guys that I can grow it out. I know you guys always like, don't cut your hair, but I always cut my hair. And sometimes I just like something a little bit different. And also when it gets, starts to get too long, I just, I like easy styling as I always tease Nika. Cause I'd be like, girl, I don't know. I always be swearing. I'm going to grow my hair out like super, super long, like to my thighs. And then as soon as it gets me back, I'd be like, okay, <laughs> all right. So there's so, you know, but I do want people to understand it doesn't matter if your hair is one inch or your hair is 30 inches, you really need to have a routine and it really needs to include a lot of moisture. Um, I talked to them about protein, um, especially if they're older, keeping their scalp good, uh, you know, blocking DHT, 
you know, going to the doctor. <laughs> um, so it was, it was really educational, which is really what I wanted it to be. Uh, Sissy Fly says, most people lure you into their channel, but don't spill the tea and educate. Right, right. And I want you guys to learn. I want you guys to be able to leave this legacy for your children, pass it on, make sure you have bomb hair, your children have bomb hair. And, and we don't always have to resort to things that don't serve us. And I'm not going to say, um, I don't believe relaxers serve us. I know some people will go back to relaxing or go back to certain things, but I feel like if you do that, that's a choice and not the only option you have, right? At one point that for me, I thought it was the only option I had. My hair was unmanageable. It would never grow. And I had to have a relaxer, right? Um, and I had the worst, and it's so crazy. Like looking back, I had the worst relaxed hair, I feel like of, <laughs> in the history of relaxed hair. And uh, to think that I was really holding on to something that was really not serving me um, due just to the, the mental brainwashing, I guess you would say, society um, says that relaxers were the thing to do. So, you know, let's see here. Mm, Diane says my hair thrived on the shelves. I use a gel on a raw set. Ooh, I was really pretty. I, I really want to bring back some like rod sets. I haven't done a rod set in forever. I actually have the curlers from when I used to do them regularly, but um, girl, I haven't done a rod set in years. Once this weather decides and wants to not rain, um, I'm going to bring back some curly styles. That'll be fun. Um, Sharon says, good afternoon, everyone. I love this tea challenge for my hair. Oh, also help me to drink more herbs. Yes, yes. I'm glad to hear that. Yolanda says, hello all. Hey, dear. Nika says, oh my God, this temperature drop had me shivering. It's so cold and these fools uh, and put me on the velocity. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> yeah, my heat's not on either. So I'm like freezing. I have this big old, let me tell you, I got this on Amazon. It's like a, it's a sweater, but it's insulated. Um. This is like my new favorite thing. So if you see me with this all the time, shh, don't judge me, okay? <laughs> but it's very, very warm. So uh, let's see. Rissy said, oh, goodness. Oh, you guys can't see this. This person is commenting, but his comments are blocked. <laughs> but let me just... Um... Let me just hide the user because I can see them. <laughs> all right. Oops. Um, okay. Nika says, take some vitamin C and iron. They always warm me up. Yeah, I definitely will. You know, I always take some iron anyways. Uh, sorry, I scrolled up. You know, I've been slacking on my iron. I need to do better. Everyone needs to do better. <laughs> uh, Perpetua says, you do live every Sunday. Yeah, I try to do lives on Sunday. I've taken a break for a while, but I'm definitely back every Sunday. I try to do a live around 1.30 um, unless something happens. <laughs> but I'll try to let you guys know if I'm not going to do a live. Um, but yeah, every Sunday I try to just pop in. Um, definitely we'll be doing it in, in the fall. I know I also missed my, uh, my Saturday upload about Herbal Living, but I will post that for next Saturday and then the following Saturday. So you'll get like two back-to-back -back Saturdays of herbal living. So next week is going to be on skincare. Um, well, this Saturday will be on skincare. I don't know about the following week, but, um, I'll create some content for you guys. Y'all know I was like really consumed with getting ready for the show. So I just didn't do any additional filming this week, but I got y'all. I got y'all. Okay. Uh, Tiffany said, same for my relaxed hair it was thin and brittle and breaking. Yeah. <laughs> Dan said, I'm over 50 and your teachings have helped me tremendously. I enjoy wash days now. Yay. <laughs> I love to hear that. I love it. Uh, Nika said, I hate that so many people label our hair as unmanageable just because it requires a different way of handling. Yes. Yes. Um, Acme says, I just did a protein treatment yesterday. Should I do henna this week or moisturize? Um, I would moisturize this week and then I would do henna maybe the following week. But see how your hair feels. I am, I don't know how, if you are, have a good balance, I always say whenever people, you do a protein treatment, really wait that week and see how your hair feels. And if you need another week, then wait another week and do the henna. There is no rush. <laughs> okay. There is no rush. We can always do a henna treatment afterwards, a week after. Uh, Nika said, chill. My relaxed hair was fried and laid to the side. It was a, it was a hot mess. <laughs> Nika, at least you had a little bit of length. My hair forever was was like right here. 
ish and it was always like breaking and I was like no you know then one day it hit me like right here and I was like oh I'm cute are you <laughs> it was so thin too like y'all not have fine strands um and relax was just do terrible things to find trans. It was just, it was sad. It was always sad. It was always sad. <laughs> um, oh, Fly, she answered too. She said, it may be too much for the henna. Maybe a moisturizer. Moisturize week is better. Yep, yeah, I agree. Tim Hinta said, I use the Mad Moisture Shampoo. It made my hair so soft. Can you recommend a moisturizing liquid shampoo? Um, Have you, and I, I don't like, sell mini shampoos, but I do have my purple shampoo. Um, even though it is used particularly for gray hair, you can definitely use it on your hair as well. Uh, Catherine says the hibiscus gloss bars are looking good. Can't wait for the final results. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Um, I actually, and speaking of which, I picked some people on the video and only one person has emailed me back. Um, I'm hoping to get the gloss bars out like by no later than Tuesday to everyone. So I'm hoping by this Tuesday when I drop the video, people can uh, email me. And if not, I'll just pick some more people to be um, testers. And um, I do have some more gloss bars that I'm creating for this week's Tip Tuesday. So I'm going to need some more testers then as well. So, you know. Um, let's see. Uh, Perpetua says, Perpetua says, Perpetual. I, I hope I'm saying it right. How can I send you a picture of my hair? Um, you want to send me a picture maybe on Facebook, Facebook Messenger, or leave it in the Facebook group. Hey, Brownie. She says, hi, all. Hey, dear. Rissy said, I had just started getting my relaxed hair to grow when I started having scalp issues and I had to go natural. Those chemicals are no joke. I still have scalp issues to this day, but I'm detoxing. Yeah, uh, Rissy, it might take some time. Like I used to have severe scalp issues because I actually have eczema and um, I have eczema on my scalp. And when I would do relaxers, I would be like matted, matted to my scalp, right? Because, you know, eczema, and you're, if you scratch it, your skin is open, it's broken. And then you put chemicals on it that just destroy it. Um, I had a patch in the back of my hair. I think it was on this side. I don't even remember now, but it, it wouldn't, I'm telling you, like, even when I went natural, it took like years and using Ayurveda for years for it to kind of, the scalp to kind of like go back to normal. It may not ever be perfectly back to normal, but I had severe scalp issues. And I would say is definitely due to the relaxers completely damaging my scalp. I mean, I don't even think you have to have eczema for it to damage your scalp. Um, improper, maybe even practices of using it because you know, some people are like, oh, you're supposed to just like put it on here, not really focus it on my scalp. Man, let me tell you, when I used to get my hair relaxed, slap that thing like all here. Yeah, I would wipe you here, but everywhere you part your hair and slap it on. And, you know, it would just be so, so damaging. Um, and I had like dandruff and I don't even know if it was necessarily dandruff so much as maybe a dermatitis from my scalp relaxing reacting to the relaxer. And so it did take time, but I will say this using Ayurveda over years and years and years and years, like has definitely healed my scalp, like definitely healed it. And the parts in the back that I had the worst, um, like burns, they, they, the hair definitely grows. It still grows maybe a little bit slower, but it definitely grows. It's definitely grown back and it's definitely takes some time, but you know, one thing, our, our bodies are trying to heal itself and you keep doing good practices and you'll get it. You'll get it. All right. <laughs> Anika and Brown is showing love. Acme says, I just love Henna so much. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Wait, I feel you, sis. I, actually, I was just, when I part, when I just did that part of my hair, I just saw my grays. And I'm like, wait, didn't I just do a Henna? My hair is definitely growing. Like, whatever it is, my hair is growing right now. Cause them grays, I, I just seen them. I ain't gonna get too close to the camera, but I just seen them when I parted my hair, they just popping. <laughs> um, Tim says, is your shampoo as moisturizing as the mad moisture? I don't know what mad moisture is, uh, Tim. Uh, I, I really can't speak to it cause I've never used it. I don't even know what brand makes it. Um, I will say my shampoo is moisturizing, but it will cleanse your hair. Um, it has like slippery elm and marshmallow root in it. 
Um, it has invigoration from it. it has like peppermint in it. So it's, it's nice. It's a good cleanser. Um, it's not going to strip your hair. Um, Acme says, oh my God, relaxer with relaxer. You've come a long way. <laughs> a long way, y'all. A long, a long way. <laughs> Oh, you said, oh, eczema with relaxer. You come up, yes, yes. I uh, One thing I, uh, I think I have a video where I showed you guys some pictures. I think it's like my, it was like last year when I did, um, is my nappy hair good enough? I think that's what I titled the video, is my nappy hair good enough? And I actually talk about my journey to um, becoming natural and why I chose my name, Now I Am Nappy. And um, I share <laughs> pictures in that video of <laughs> my short, relaxed hair. So if you ever want to know and see pictures, you can definitely just Google that. If you Google, is my nappy hair good enough or something like that and on my page, um, or you search that on my page, you can find the video. Um, I also, when I'm talking about it, I also give you guys a really nice style as well. Um, let's see. Um, um, what's your Facebook page? My Facebook page is now, it's called Now I Am Nappy. Everything on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube is all under Now I Am Nappy. And then if you go to Now I Am Nappy, if you go to the group section of it, you can um, request to become a, a member of my group, my Facebook group. <clears throat> Nika says, slap that here, <laughs> log the memory. Listen, I don't miss, I don't miss relaxers, not a single day in my life. <laughs> and I've been natural now for, are we coming on 15 years? We're like, I'm either 14 or 15. I don't even remember anymore. And I still have like trauma. When I see girls or I see videos of relaxers, I'd be like, Ooh! or girls be like, I'm going back. I'm going, putting relaxer back in my hair. I'd be like, no. <laughs> no, but listen, I always tell people, I, I'm not here to convince you otherwise, but I do want you to at least educate yourself so you know that it doesn't have to be the only thing that you have to do, because I personally don't believe in it. Um, Let's see. This is now you're going to get me back into Ayurveda. Girl, come back to Ayurveda. Ayurveda is life, literally is life. And honestly, yeah, we're using it for our hair, but like... Again, that's kind of why I said I wanted to show you guys um, how to use Ayurveda and other other avenues. And then not just Ayurveda, but really herbal living. And that's why I have the herbal living. And I've only done one video on it. I'm talking about like I have a whole series. I have a whole series written down that I'm ready to give for you guys. I just don't have it filmed yet. But really how important using herbs in your day-to-day -day life are. So, you know, I'm really glad to like introduce you guys to that, share it with you. And just like there's so many healing and natural things that we can be doing for ourselves and bettering ourselves and, and you know, let's, let's all be amazing. <laughs> uh, uh, so says, oh, she has a link under the video. Yeah, I do. I forgot that. Thank you. Um, Tim says, you reviewed the Man Moisture from Henna Soup on your channel. Look it up. Oh, okay. The Man Moisture Bar. I don't, honestly, I don't remember. I, I did a whole thing with henna soup a little while ago, probably like two years, three, almost three years ago. Um, let's see, hold on. You said Man Moisture Shampoo Bar you reviewed. Do you know how to melt a shampoo bar? You don't melt a shampoo bar. That's not the purpose of a shampoo bar. A shampoo bar is you lather up in your hands like that, and then you use it on your scalp. You don't melt it down. I mean, and I don't, and honestly, I can't do, if I, honestly, that was three years ago and I haven't used it since because I've been making my own products since then. Um, I will say the Mad Moisture Bar is really moisturizing. It is a shampoo bar, um, but in comparison, I can't honestly give you, because it's been three years and I, I can't, Sorry, <laughs> but I will I, listen. All I can tell you is the, the liquid shampoo that I have. The purple shampoo is very moisturizing. Um, my uh, shampoo bar is also very moisturizing. You said I need a liquid shampoo. Well, then I would definitely recommend trying the purple shampoo out that I have. Mm -mm. Let's see. 
Since we are here, we almost 15 years in the game, sis. I can't believe it's that long, right? I don't know what happened to the time, but I'm I'm thankful to be here still, right? <laughs> everyone, I remember when I first got off my hair, everyone was just like, oh, it's just a phase you're going through. Oh, you're you're going, I'm going through a breakup, you went through a hard time. Oh, you and I was like, okay, no, <laughs> none of those things actually, but okay. And people, I remember people telling me like, your hair is never going to grow. Your hair is going to be so short for so long. Because, you know, I big, I big chops. I cut off my hair. I had like one inch of hair. Um, you know, I just, I was ready. I was done. And I, and literally watching my hair in two and a half years almost go to bra strap length was like phenomenal and shut everyone else up. And when, all of a sudden, everybody was asking me, um, how do I grow my hair? How do I go natural? So, Yeah. Uh, Acme says, I love the Vedic teachings too. Yeah, they're so good. Uh, Tim says, I need a liquid shampoo. My hair is very high porosity. Well, I would recommend then trying my purple shampoo. It's a liquid shampoo that I have. Um, it, I think it's very moisturizing. You could read some of the reviews. I th I don't know if anyone's on here who uses it regularly, but it, I find it to be a very moisturizing shampoo. Um, let's see. Oh, Tiffany says I went natural in 2010. Yeah. So you're you're what 12, 12 years? That's awesome, sis. That's awesome. I feel like we are part of that OG crowd, the OG naturals out here. <laughs> uh Sister Fly says, Are you gonna have the new gloss bars by Black Friday? Because I need to get my coins right together. My goal is to have the new gloss bars by Black Friday. That is the goal, sis. Yes. Um like I said, I'm, I'm trying to get, I put my test though to a right, who, okay, let me rephrase that. <laughs> I had 10 different thoughts in my head. So those last week who commented on my video said that they wanted to be a tester. I email, I messaged four of them right under their comment. And only one person has actually sent me their information. Um, if I don't hear more by Tuesday, I'm going to comment other some under some other names to see if I can get some more people. Um, so I can hurry up and get those out so you guys can test it in the month of October. And then I can make sure I get enough bulk supplies in November and start prepping for Black Friday. But yes, that is the goal. Um, I have two more gloss bars that I'm testing out for this week's Tip Tuesday. Uh, one does include Slippery Elm because that was something that was requested as well uh, quite a few times. I'm seeing if I like the recipe. This is, again, phase one of testing. Um... So, yeah. Let's see. Acme says, me too. I went natural in 2010, sophomore year in high school. Oh, you're the baby. <laughs> but that's awesome, sis. That's awesome. You know, I, I wish I had the goal to do it when I was in high school. Man, I wish I I wish I did. I was still thinking I was cute with that fake relaxer I had in and this fake, fake clipping, a fake clipping weave because, you know, my hair was so short and broken. Nika says, it's always like that. Um, they say you're going to th go through trials and tribulations when you cut it off. But once they see that growth, it's how did you do it? Yep. Every single time. And then it was funny because like at the time I was living in New York and a lot of people, and I used to be, um, go to this, um, this hall and people were always, they always assumed, which is very interesting that I wasn't fully black. So I was black those whole time. Right. But as soon as, soon as, I cut off my hair and grew back. They're like, oh, you must be mixed. I was like, mixed? People were like, well, what do you mix with? And I was like, mixed? <laughs> I've been black this whole time. I don't know when I suddenly became mixed. And it was it was uh, this assumption that because my hair grew this fast, that I must be mixed, that I must be mixed. And I, and I really was trying to break some of that stereotype. It was like, but look at your skin. And I'm like, I'm black. I don't. I don't know where this 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 became. All of a sudden, I've always been black, and now all of a sudden, because of my hair grew fast, it was, it was. Um, I must be mixed with something. Um, but trying to break through some of the, those mental blocks that we have um, about black hair growing long and black hair growing quickly and black hair being healthy and um, is. <laughs> It's a, it's a journey. It's definitely a journey. And I always laugh because, yes, my hair is kinky. It's not the kinkiest of the kinkiest hair. I think there is definitely ranges on hair. But my hair is pretty kinky. And I think of, I'm not saying mixed people have to have loose texture because I do realize mixed people can have all types of textures of a hair. But it's just funny how immediately, because my hair grew, I immediately must have been mixed. 
there was no other option. And it was like, I'm in love. I was like, I'm, yeah, I'm sure there's weight in my family back because of slavery. Like, we were talking about six or seven generations pack. <laughs> then sure, I'm mixed. But I'm probably as mixed as you are. Like, you're probably more mixed than I am. Um, it's just really, really funny. They're like, yeah, that white, that white from six generations back, that's why your hair grew fast. Not because you actually knew how to take care of your hair and your hair is growing because our hair actually does grow. So, you know, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, <laughs> all right. Misty Blue says, hi, everyone. Hey, dear. Anik says, the fact that people are still shocked we can grow our hair is so frustrating. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this fly says, how do you become a tester? Do you have to show your pictures and talk to you? Um, so yeah, under the video, I asked if anyone was interested in being a tester. So yeah, so what, what will happen if you do become a tester? And I'll, I will email you guys back. I was just trying to get everyone together. So if you did email me, um, I, I think someone had asked if I got your email. I think you were the only one who had emailed me. I haven't responded back because I was trying to make sure I got everyone so I could send it all out at one time. But basically, if you become a tester for me, yes, you'll start off with taking a picture of your hair um, and then like you'll use the gloss bar. You'll kind of let me know how your thoughts on it. You'll just write it up in an email. You're, you'll write it in an email and let me know your thoughts on the gloss bar. I want to want you to wait a week or two, um, see how your hair feels. And I want you to use the gloss bar at least two times. Um, so that's why I'm trying to give you guys like the whole month of October <laughs> to like test out the gloss bar, see how you like them. And then send me pictures, um, like beginning pictures and after pictures of using the gloss bar. So like right after you use it, before you use it, right after you use it, if possible. Yep. Uh, Sherelle, uh, yeah, did you get my email with my phone? Yeah, I think you were, again, I think you were the only one who emailed me. So I'm going to, again, if I don't get more people by Tuesday, because I have two more gloss bars I want to test out, I'm just going to pick some more people. I do have my crew of testers who already are um, going to be testing me out, but I was just trying to get some of you guys who have different textures, like people who have high prosy hair, um, there was someone on there who said they had coarse hair. Um, these are things that like, if my testers don't have that, I'm, I'm always looking for, you know, a little bit more variety. So we could know that gloss bars, they work among a number of people, not just, you know, certain types and certain whatever. I'm, I'm trying to make sure it works for everybody. Um, Jessica says, I can be tested. Oh yeah. You know what? And I do need someone with a little bit of looser texture. So definitely I can, I'll send it to you, Jess. I will. And Brownie said, people sleeping on testing these gloss bars. What, right? <laughs> they, they were so hyped in the video. And then I'm like, yo, y'all got to email me. <laughs> like, check your emails. Check your emails. Uh, Brownie says, I've always been natural. And the same people who used to ask me if I ever relaxed my hair are now people asking for me for advice, right? <laughs> uh, Nikki says, girl, I've been Asian since my hair is <laughs> not Asian, though. <laughs> It's so, it's so crazy the mindset though, that people have because your hair has, has grown uh, long, right? You must be mixed with something. How dare you be fully black and your hair be long? Um, it's the mental mindset of that we can't grow long hair and we can, and we can. Yeah. And Brown says, yeah, I get that mixed comment too, right? <laughs> Whole time be black and grow some hair and you all of a sudden not black anymore. I'll be like, what? Okay. How did we get here? Uh, Tiffany says, I was clowning in high school for being natural and they assume I didn't comb my hair. Oh, yes. I've, I definitely have heard those. You don't comb me hair comments. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Acme, yes. They thought I was mixed with my type four. <laughs> they thought I was mixed with my type four hair. A different grade of hair they would <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, she's about to live in, live, live in ignorant Kansas. Oh, man. It's funny. Sometimes you just have to laugh. You know, I, I'm always just like, at this point, I'm just like, okay, you, I'm mixed in. That's what you want. I'm as mixed as you want to be. Sure. Wonderful. Anyways, here's some advice on how to grow some hair. <laughs> um, Let's see. Nicole says, wow, yes, interesting. Okay, I just popped on. I'm interested in testing. Okay, I'll participate. Okay, so let me just listen. I'll say this. If um, by Tuesday, everyone doesn't respond, I will go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and choose you, Nicole, too, at my miracle. So just, I will comment under your, your names. Um, 
or because I, I can't, I don't know how to send you a message on like YouTube, but I'll comment under your names. Uh, if you commented on that video, I can leave you a comment like, hey, send me a message or, or you can um, email me on Tuesday. Email me at nowiamnappy at gmail.com. I'm <clears throat> just typing that in the chat on Tuesday. And if um, and if they haven't responded, I'll just go ahead and shoot you guys so I can move forward. Because the point is, I need I really need to move forward and get it shipped out so then you can have the whole month of October to try it out. That's the only way people are like, oh, you're gonna drop it by Black Friday. I would love to, but I do I like to go through this testing phase with different people and different ferocity so that we can like you know, know that it works on different people. Um, oh, Diane, did you get my email info with the ship sample lotion? I did. I, I got it yesterday while I was at the expo, but I, I definitely saw it. I got you, sis. I'm going to try and mail out everything. That's what I'm going to try and mail out everything by like Tuesday, Wednesday this week. I'm trying to just do one, one ship and not go to the post office 10 times. <laughs> so I'll try to get that out by Tuesday at the latest. Wednesday. Um, what did I see here? Nika says, I love to shock them. Say yes, I miss <laughs> Nika. I'm gonna fight you, Nika. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you, Nika. <laughs> uh, Sissy Fly says, Can you make a gloss bar blend for scalp dermatitis? Um, I, yeah, I can I can definitely work on something like that for for those who have scalp dermatitis. Um, I can think about that. I have some ideas in my head. As soon as you said it, I thought about it. I can definitely work on one of those. I can do that. Uh, uh, hey, Faye. She says good afternoon. And okay, my miracle says okay. Thanks. I'm naturally high porosity air. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. My miracle. Uh, Veronica's naturally Nico, what you mix with <laughs> a mess. Uh, <laughs> a mess. Okay. Acme says, I would try to be a tester, but I'm not responsible enough to email back with results and don't want to waste your stuff. <laughs> right. And that's why I always say people, some people want to be testers, but there is a little bit of work with it. I know people are like, Oh, I just want a free product. Yeah. I want a free product too. But there is a point with the with the testing, and I I mean I do try to give you guys a little bit of time to, um, you know, test use it use a product. I get it. You might be busy one week, but um, in order for me to get stuff out by Black Friday, I need to like order. Sorry, I'm like playing with my hair. I need to get it ordered and start making it, or I need to go back to, to in the lab and mix it and see if I need to make it more moisturizing. You know what I mean, or something else. So <clears throat> that's all. Um, Sissy Fly says yes because the winter cold has a scalp drying out and itching, burning sometimes. Oh no, sis! What are you using now uh, for your scalp, Sissy Fly? Um, Nika says if nobody knew before, <laughs> this should let you know. Yes, I am. Rude. Yes, girl. <laughs> yes, you are, <laughs> and I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, Leisha Leia says, "Oh man, I would love to test." But my hair is in a protective style. What bad timing? Oh, it's all right, sis. Um, there, listen, there, there's going to be more things that I'm going to come out with that will need testing. So, um, yeah. So hopefully you won't be in a protective style for my next friend, my next thing. Uh, the next, and I, I'm going to speak on this. My next thing is going to be the leave-in for the Ibesca Styler. I don't know if that will be out by Black Friday, but that is the next thing that I'm sending out to my testers within, I would say, probably two weeks. I want to make sure I have everything right. I've tweaked this recipe a few times. Um, but yeah, so, you know, two weeks is my goal to get it out to my testers. And if I, I mean, this is going to be a, if I could do the turnaround by Black Friday, it will be by Black Friday. We shall see. <laughs> um, Faith says, I want to be a tester, but please, no scented products. I like your conditioner, but I have to wash it off because the scent is so strong for me. Still waiting for, <laughs> you gonna, You forever going to fight me because I'm, <laughs> I've been bad. I got you though. I do. I do. Actually, let me put my notes because you have asked, um, uh, pulling up some notes here. Okay. 
I, I wonder, and this is my thing, I wonder how big the market is for non-scented products, right? I might do a small couple small batches and see how they do. Um, I know you're not the only one who has um who can't do scents. You're not, you're definitely not. Um, there is a brand, and I forget her name right now. I know she her whole line is unscented um because of that. Uh, Susie Fly says, I'm using your stuff, which has been wonderful, just that sometimes the cold wind and build up heating system dries my scalp sometimes. Nothing major compared to a few years ago. Oh, yeah. And listen, my hair gets so dry in the, the winter because of the heat. And I have the heat on. I always say I have the heat on deck. Like, I am ashy. <laughs> I, I don't care what I put on my body. I wake up feeling ashy. Um because I like to have the heat on like death all the time. So I feel you and it definitely can dry out the scalp, dry out the hair, which is also why I always recommend and I use butters in the um, winter time because I need something to really lock in moisture. Because if, if you're in the East Coast and it's really, really cold when you're outside and when you're inside, you got the heat on blast. So I feel you, sis. I feel you. Uh, Nicole says, okay, thank you. We've inboxed on Facebook before if you want to contact me that way. Oh yeah, Nicole, we have, we have. Uh, Brown says, I need unscented for my sister. Whew. Okay. All right. Uh, like I said, I'll, I might do like a, just a small drop of unscented products. Um, Y'all know, trying to, let me tell you the thing is, it's always like when you make products and you got to go get labels, you got to do all the stuff. And it's always, it's always, if you can mix it, it's just always the extra stuff that you don't think about. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to work on something um, like maybe a small launch for those who, um, who want some unscented products. <laughs> Kyler says, add me to the Ashy winner. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all are. We definitely all get, especially if you on the, um, if you in the East coast, man, it's, it's rough out over here. It's rough over here. Anika says, unscented is so necessary, but hard, especially with funky neem and rotation. All I can manage is vanilla. Yeah. That's the thing. And I don't think a lot of people realize it, but pe the reason why people scent products is because they don't necessarily smell that great. <laughs> they really don't. Um, and depending on what products you have, they might have an odd scent uh, to it, but um, you yeah, know, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Faces. Oh my God. Scented products give me instant headaches and I start to cough really bad. People laugh at me, but it's bad. I love perfumes and all all nice scents, but I can't. Oh, wow. And some people do. Some people have a really bad allergy to it. Some people have really sensitive noses. Um, but yeah. Ne uh, Brown says, I bought an unscented body oil for my sister and it is so sweet. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, it just depends on what products you're you're mixing in your in your mixes. Like all natural products have a certain scent. Some of them do. Just like that some products have a certain scent to it naturally. So sometimes people just I always try to like my 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 um oh and owl collection, that line is just using um essential oils. And I thought like, okay, so it's just essential oils, like people wouldn't be no, it doesn't matter if you're allergic to scents or allergic to scents, whether they're synthetic or their natural people still have a sensitive nose to them if that's if you do so it's um quite interesting <laughs> that you say that <laughs> Rusi says yes my DIY Ayurvedic oil smells like curry chicken <laughs> not curry chicken <laughs> it's funny though because I my fenugreek uh oil the one that I sometimes that I DIY uh, whenever I used to use that, I either got maple syrup or Indian restaurant. People were like, were you eating Indian food? You smell like an Indian restaurant. Or people were like, who smells like maple syrup? And it's very, very interesting why some people smell maple syrup and other people smell curry, like, or like an Indian restaurant. Um, very, very interesting. So <laughs> I always just laugh. I know, like I said, some people have a more sensitive nose. Some people will smell certain things. Some people will smell other things. Um, that is why I would say hair products are scented almost 90% of the time. It's because some of those smells are not that pleasing and other smells are maybe too pleasing. I don't know. It depends on. 
faces vinegary smells like maple syrup. Yeah, some people, and when I tell you, people are like, you smell like pancakes. I just want to eat you. And I'm like, please don't. And then other people are just like, no, you smell like an Indian rat. I don't know why the the difference is with either curry or maple syrup. So very interesting. But uh, when like when I read and research about fenugreek, um, it's actually supposed to be uh, a more maple syrupy scent, but doesn't always. It's interesting. Interesting. All right. Uh, let's see here. So, so, like, so many ideas. So much work for you. Are you hiring? You can pay me with free products. <laughs> I am. I'm actually going to be hiring um, for this season. I'm hoping to keep them on permanently. I definitely will be getting help because I can't do it all. I can't do it all. Um, and I am. I want to do hire. I want to hire someone who helps me with like some digital marketing. I want to run some ads. I was like taking a, a Facebook ads course because you know my plate is not full already. I was like, mm, let me more add more to my plate. Literally was watching videos at like two in the morning, and I was like. You know, you just hire somebody who's around Facebook ads because this is not it. Like, you can't wear all the hats and grow your business. Like, that is the biggest uh, lesson I'm learning. So I am hiring somebody um, to help physically, like, here, help me. But also, I do need help with, like, digital marketing because I want to run ads for Black Friday. So, you know, I'm trying to like expand my business and this is like the next step in expanding. And that means hiring help. That means saying like, okay, I can't do this all by myself or I'm not going to like, that's, that's the only way to grow. You can't burn yourself out and I will burn myself out and I'm not doing that no more. So yes. Um, so Flower, are you, where are you located? Are you in the U.S.? Are you in Philly? Are you in Philadelphia? Um, okay. Brennan says, I'm like, I'm like, what is it? What is this? <laughs> That's funny. Um, I says, my mom is like that with scents. I love how the hibiscus dollar smells and gets so many compliments. Thank you. Thank you. I love that scent too. And it's, to me, it doesn't like, it's not too strong. You put it on, you're going to smell it, but it does definitely fade some. Mm. Nika says, since I started putting your lotion in rotation, and I stopped drying my skin, my level of ash has significantly decreased. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love that. I love it, boo. My, I, listen, I'm probably going to eventually sell that lotion because it is really, I love it. And it really, really helps with my skin so much. Um, and Diane, yes, I'm getting you your sample, but you also probably can uh, be one of my samplers. So when, you know, I do put out the lotion, you'd be like, listen, this stuff is the truth. <laughs> Um, Brian says fenugreek. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> fenugreek smells like maple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> That's the oil I would eat. Yeah. I got the same with fenugreek with slightly embarrassed. Oh, don't worry, sis. Don't worry. Probably the most familiar scent to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yay for growth. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, chronic math debater, math debater. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> So he says, can you do some movie reactions? Um, I mean, that's not what this channel is about. We are simply talking about hair here. Uh, so if I says, girl, I'm in New York. Oh, <laughs> I need help. I need someone who's in Philadelphia to help me out. It's really what I need. <clears throat> um, Diane says, definitely. Okay, girl. Okay. All right, you guys. Is there anything else um, we want to talk about? <laughs> what you talking about, Nika? What you talking about? <laughs> um, what's your favorite type of hair? Um, natural hair is my favorite type of hair. <laughs> Any anything anything natural is my favorite type. I don't really have a favorite type in particular, like texture. I think all textures are beautiful and unique. And I think loving this up to your hair is the most important part. But um, does anyone have any other questions or comments? So definitely, I would say definitely check out for Tip Tuesday. I'll be testing out two more gloss bars for you guys. Um, again, if um, no one responded back, or no one else, I can't say no one because one person did respond. If two more people didn't respond back, I'm going to, I'll let you guys know in that video. I'll just say, look, I'm like, I post, I commented under y'all, y'all, your comments. Okay. So if you want to email me today, 
So I can try and get all of um, the products out by like either Tuesday or Wednesday. So you guys can get on to testing it for, um, um, for me. Sorry, this person about to get blocked real quick. I'm so glad that like um, these comments are um, hidden from you guys. People are ridiculous. Uh, let me just hide him real quick. All right, and just like that, he's gone. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> Richard said, I can't believe you read that username out loud. I got got. <laughs> I fell for it. <laughs> Rissy, I fell for it. <laughs> I was just like, what was that? And no, 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 no. He's blocked. And you guys can't see because I now have um I try to put like keywords in so that way if someone says a certain word, it automatically blocks it from showing. So yes, no, this person ended up saying very inappropriate things. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> <laughs> this fly is annoying me a life. Nika said these men need a good smoke out. Because... <laughs> Jump on my nose with these comments. Okay. I, and I'm dumb. I'm just sitting here reading the follow for not even thinking nothing of it. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, Justin says, could I still do the tea challenge again? Oh, yeah, you could definitely do the tea, cha tea challenge again. Definitely. <laughs> Just laughing at Rissy. She's not mad you fell for her. I'm glad you blocked her. Yeah. Tim said, what was the person saying? Inappropriate things. And if you saw what his name was, think about what type of things they would comment on. Um, Brown is says, Jessica, I'm still doing the challenge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nicole said, people are crazy. People are crazy. People have nothing better to do than troll other people on YouTube. Let me tell you. <laughs> really, really. Um, hey, Juan. She says, hey, sisters. I'm um, actually, uh, unless anyone has any more comments or anything, um, and if you guys uh, participated in the challenge, make sure you guys post in the Facebook group that you participated because I'm going to pick a challenge winner. I'll do it on Tuesday. I'll do everything on Tuesday. So I'll give you guys some time. Um, I'll make sure I comment in the video that whoever participated to leave a comment as well. So I can choose a winner on Facebook and a winner on YouTube for Tip Tuesday. I have a lot of things I'm trying to do. This is always how it is like coming up to Black Friday. There's always like this rush to like get everything in and, you know, come up with new products. So yeah. <clears throat> I hope you're having a great day. I am having a good day. Thank you. Faith says, how often would you recommend to wash and blow dry 4C hair? Um, so I'm really not a fan of blow drying, but I, I am a weekly washer, right? I would shampoo and deep condition my hair weekly, but that's due to my lifestyle, right? So I have, um, I work out often. And so uh, my scalp gets very, very sweaty and that mixed with eczema, it just doesn't leave a really good Eh, for me. And um, my hair stinks if I don't wash it. So for me, shampooing and conditioning once a week is an absolute must. Um, but I do also have a really good moisturizing routine. And so I would say once a week, but if you're someone who can go once every two weeks, then I know a lot of people do that. I think Brandon does that. I think Nika does that. So it definitely can work. Um, I, I'm not a, if you blow dry your hair, I would definitely say to use minimal heat if possible. Um, I know some people do that to help stretch their hair. So if I were you, I would definitely, Anika says, what's your scalp sebum level like? Right. And I'll say it definitely is going to depend on what your, your, your scalp is like mine. I can't, I, I dream of it. And let me tell you the week when I skip wash day, my, the whole week I was scratching my scalp. Every time I, if I miss my wash day, I literally, it's a mess for me. And I, I don't know why I do it to myself. And I know I get busy, but like for me really once a week is where I live at. Um, and oh, Tiffany says, I love my Revair. I use it to stretch my hair up to twice a month. Right. I was just going to say, I think twice a month is good for stretching your hair. Um, if you can get the Revair, I hear that it's much better than using um, like your regular blow dryer. I've not used Revere. I'm, I'm, I would love to partner with them. I actually messaged them a while ago and I need to like follow up. <laughs> um, I would love to try it. So yeah. 
Um, I'll tell you that's because I watch every other week, right? And if that works for you and your schedule, I mean, that's, that works fine. That's fine to do. I know, like I said, I know a number of people do, um, but it does, it does depend on what your scalp is like. And because sometimes waiting doesn't do you any good. And some people can do it. Like some people have slow scalp sebum. I don't, I produce a plenty of scalp sebum and everything. So for me, must, it's not even just that. It's also because I sweat. I'm a head sweater. So when I work out and you have a week of working out and your hair's sweaty, it's it's a recipe for no. <laughs> for no, wash your hair. <laughs> wash your hair. Um, let's see. Juan says, I've got dry hair. I've heard mayonnaise is good for adding moisture to hair. Is that true or not? Um, not, I'll say this. Mayo, no, not really. Mayo is really oily and... Um, <sighs> I, I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't recommend mayo. I, I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend mayo by anything. <laughs> Rizzy over here having a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, I would say this. Get yourself a good deep conditioner, right? Shampoo, deep condition your hair weekly. Moisturize your hair with some type of leave-in. Even if you don't have a store-bought leave-in, you could literally make a leave-in with aloe vera or some type of tea. And add some glycerin to it. All right. So like a table, like a teaspoon of glycerin to eight ounces of, of aloe or of a tea mixture. And spray that as a basic leave-in. And then maybe use something heavier, like a something cream-based as like a moisturizer. Um, but yeah, let's not do the mayo thing. Um. Let me see here. Sherelle says, same sis. Once a week is the only thing for me. Yeah, me too. Nika says, I'm so scared of the Rev Air. The concept of it is just, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I like I said, I, I've seen it out for so long. And I, I definitely am intrigued by it. It's very interesting. And every time I see someone put their hair in the little thing and it just I, sucks it in, I freak out a little bit. Like, oh my God, it's going to like, I don't know, eat it. <laughs> I'm weird. <laughs> but um. I am definitely curious. So like if, if I can work with them and partner with them, I'm definitely going to get it and, and have fun with it. Uh, <laughs> Rissy over here freaking out. Let's see. Male in the, in the hair is 2011. <laughs> it is really. One says, also my scalp is so itchy lately. I found massive white clumps in my hair. Not male. <laughs> Not male. What do I do? Um, okay. So if you're having massive white clumps, I would go to your dermatologist. So make an appointment with your doctor and or a dermatologist and find out you probably have some form of dermatitis. Um, and that could also be if you're putting mayo and type of stuff on your hair, it literally can cause certain types of buildup and affect your scalp, especially if your scalp is, is having issues, which it sounds like it is. You said massive white clumps. I mean, I can only imagine that it's probably build up some form of dermatitis or something, probably something worse than dandruff. So I would literally, um, Wait, is this a joke? Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let me see. So yeah, I would definitely go to your dermatologist first and make sure you get and figure that out first. I don't even want to recommend anything until you go to your dermatologist and get that figured out. Because yes, I can recommend herbs for like scalp care and all of that, but you might need something strong, like something to remove that. I don't know what it is. So go find out what that is first. Okay. All right, Gabe. Um, I, I'm not even going to respond to that. And I don't know if you're just trolling because I will block anyone just trolling right now. Uh, Rissy said, Mayo was in my hair as a child. My, I mean, I think at one point, Mayo was on all of our hairs as a child because that was something that our parents, I don't know who told our parents that, but um, no, we have, we have evolved from that at this point. Faces, thanks. Uh, Mm. Uh, Ackman says, I'm afraid of that repair price. Dang, I need a partner too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> because it's goodbye. <laughs> y'all are hilarious. I don't even have to comment because y'all, let me just make sure that they're not over here cutting up too much. Okay. Okay. I didn't want him to come back and comment because I, I'm just not even going to answer like ridiculous ridiculous comments that are like, no. <clears throat> All 
Okay, sorry, just for a friend advised me to use mail. I think it'll be give it a miss. Yeah, no, if you're having one, if you're having scalp issues, I would not put anything like mail onto your scalp. I would definitely go to a dermatologist first and foremost. Um, we do have literally um a lot of natural DIY stuff that can work with the scalp. If you want to definitely check my channel or actually, yeah, join our Facebook group. I, don't, I just saw one said, join the Facebook group. We can actually talk and chat there, but I would definitely, definitely um go to a dermatologist first. Oh boy. Okay. I can see we are just getting trolled by certain people here. Um, I see here. I tell you people who just want to come on just to make, <laughs> make fun of. Uh, okay. Let me just make sure nobody else is commenting crazy. Okay. Sorry, you guys. Um, okay. Tiffany says, now that I'm thinking of it, I did use my mail in 20, 2000. I think everyone did at some point. Brown says, I'm tricked too, but that price. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Listen, I'm seeing if I can become a partner with them. That way I got to pay the price. And I can just let y'all know. Because I do know that if I can, they will give me a discount. And I can give y'all a discount. <laughs> mm. uh, Tiffany says, I got the Rev Air during... A away. I don't know what that is. Uh, well, and Gabe, that's just me. Now here I am telling the genuine piece of advice. Someone gave me, and you're taking the. Yeah, don't don't listen to him, Juan. He's being a jerk. Um, Nika says, "Oh my God, that's exactly how I feel, sis. It's going to eat my hair, and I'll end up with a bald spot sitting there with the eye." <laughs> been lying. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Let me just go block some people real quick. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Cause you know, if I'm, if I'm reading up and as I'm going down, I'm just seeing like nonsense. Uh, okay. Let's see here because we're actually here for actual advice and not stupidity. All right. So no, we're not doing that on this channel. Uh, not the trolls coming in. At the, right. <clears throat> My miracle says, if testing your product will be, will, will we have to refrain from using a full henna during the testing month? No, you don't have to refrain from using a henna. No. Mm -mm. Tiffany says, massive white clump sounds like could be psoriasis too, but honestly, could be anything. It could be anything, which is why I'm like, go, go to the doctor. It could be psoriasis. I, that's what I, said. I don't, I don't even want to recommend anything until you know what that is. Cause that could be a few, could be a number of things, but we need to figure that out first before we just go put stuff on your scalp because that could just make it worse, a lot worse. <clears throat> Nika says, yes, yeah, for real. That's how I felt when I first, <laughs> first saw it. <laughs> Ma says, oh, okay, I'm going to go and get, get checked out. Yes, please, please. Okay. <laughs> I'm reading these comments here. So you're like, block, block him, block him, block all them good old boys. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I think the word giveaway is attracting silly men. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> uh, what? No, I don't, I don't know if this is actually, I'm about to just, hide, I'm about to hide. I'm about to hide everybody's users on, on my channel. It is a troll, Nika. I just saw that. Uh, thank you for looking for beauty tips when there are so many channels for men looking for help with their hair. Oh, they look, yeah, no, take that out. They're trolling. They need to go pay some bills, right? <laughs> Not someone with a fake YouTube account. <laughs> Not a fake YouTube account, yeah. All right, y'all, it's clearly time to go. Not that no one's running me off, because let me tell you one thing. Ain't nobody going to run me off face on uh, uh, YouTube with, with trolling comments. But um, let me know if you guys do have any other questions, serious questions. And yes, um, make sure, you, again, comment on, on the Facebook group if you want to. Comment under that YouTube video when I make the post on Tip Tuesday for the giveaway of my products. Let me know if you want to be a tester under that video on Tuesday if I don't hear back from the women I chose. And um, 
I appreciate everyone for coming out and chatting with me today. I'll wait a few seconds, but if you do have any questions, uh, please leave them now. If not, I'm going to head off and go take a nap <laughs> and then get to finish filming my videos. Um, my miracle says, let me go join your Facebook group. Yeah. And, um, it's in the description or, um, below. So just check that out. Robin says, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Jessica says, take care. Love you, girl. Thank you, boo. Thank you. You too. Bye, humble. She says, hey. <laughs> Diane says, my hair loves clothes. Do you have a DIY for clothes butter since it's getting cold? Um, I don't have a DIY for clothes butter. I, did I say Yaya? Do you know Yaya DIY Creations? I think that she actually just did a clothes butter, clothes butter, if I remember correctly. I think she did one. Um, so maybe check out her recipe. I, I probably won't be doing one right one right now, but um, yeah, if I do, I, it'll be probably in like two or three weeks. <laughs> but yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see. Cool, got it. Please join the Facebook group, y'all. Thank you, Rissy. Sharon says, have a great week. Thank you, boo. Ollie says, I'm extremely late. Did you talk about a new challenge? Oh, I did not talk about a new challenge. We can um, definitely talk about it next time. But if we do a new challenge, it won't start until probably like November. But I will give you guys time to like get everything that you need. It will be like an African-based challenge. But um, definitely stay tuned. I'm actually going to be focusing on getting my gloss bars and everything out um, to my testers and testing those out over the next couple of weeks. Uh, once I get that established, we'll probably do one more challenge for the end of the year, but that won't be till November. So we can definitely talk about that then, though. All right. Agnes says, have a good week. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for joining me today. <laughs> I'll see you guys for Tip Tuesday. Bye, everyone.